All right, what's going on YouTube? Um, yeah, so you're probably at this video wondering how to use a PlayStation 5 controller on a PC to play Modern Warfare, you know, or games that, you know, don't support PlayStation 5 controllers yet. So basically, what you want to do is you're going to go to your browser, whichever one you use, you're going to go to X360CE, right? The first website that pops up. Make sure it's the correct website, it's not always the first. All right, for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna download it. I'm just gonna tell you guys how to do this step by step. You're gonna download the one for all games. Boom, you click on it, it's gonna download. All right, done deal. So ima imagine, hey, let me open this twice actually. Let me, fuck it. All right, so under Modern Warfare, imagine you just downloaded the app. I mean, after you downloaded the software, and then imagine this is the new, imagine this is the folder. Imagine this is just, imagine this right here is just a brand new folder like this. But you know, I don't know how to do that, so fuck it. So basically, you're gonna, you're gonna click on Modern Warfare on your files, right? The files. And then on your other files tab, app or Windows, you're gonna just drag it from that one window to the next one. Imagine this is a window, like I said. You're just gonna drag it, it's gonna go right there, right? All right, so after you drag it from right there, you're gonna boot the app. You're just gonna double click it, boot the app. All right, and then as you can see, I'm gonna just do this for the sake of the new controller. What you wanna do, right? Hey, let me, let me remove these, because these are actually pissing me off. So. All right, fuck it. I can't figure it out. All right, so controller three, you're going to put, you're going to just put add, right? Make sure you check off your keyboard and mouse and click add selected device. You see how it says Sony Interactive wireless controller? That's when you get to, that's when you get to, you know, press trigger, record, you know, and then you see that flashing button right there? Boom, you press your trigger button and it sets. Typically, you know, the touchpad is a scoreboard button, and that's what the back button means. So I have it as my touchpad, which is button 14, as it says right there. And, yeah. And, you know, the another step is after you download the app, you're going to go to games. You're, you're going to have to click add. And then Modern Warfare. Just double-click it. Double-click it like that. You see Modern Warfare? Click open, and it's going to add Modern Warfare inside of here. And then after that, you know, every time you do a step... Just click save all. Do not forget that. All right. So here's the steps. You here's the steps. Step one, you downloaded the app. Step two, you put it under Modern Warfare. Step three, you mapped your buttons. And step four, you added Modern Warfare into the app where it says games. Right. Now this is the most crucial step. Step five. This is what actually gets your controller to work on Modern Warfare. All right. And this is where everybody leaves out the step. So I'm gonna just close out. I'm going to just close out, and I'm going to start Modern Warfare, all right? Like, this is just, imagine you just set up everything, brand new video. Oh, you're hopping on Modern Warfare, and it worked. Oh, and you're thinking it's going to work, right? You click play, and and then to your surprise, well, I'm, I'm not even going to ruin it. I'm just going to show you, and I'm going to show you guys how to fix it, and you're going to thank me later. So just stick around. It's going to be worth it. I promise you will... Thank me very much for this because this is the true only solution that I found. Like nobody really put this last vital step in there to really make your control work on it. And it kind of made me upset because I spent a lot of hours trying to figure this out. And I've actually done it myself. So as you can see, it says, please reconnect your controller or switch to the keyboard and mouse con con control screen. Right. So that doesn't pop up for people who just installed the app because, you know, you just got it. So you don't it, it's not going to tell you that you know you have to switch the keyboard and mouse but but you don't have to worry about that because i'm gonna show you guys how to fix that you 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 guys are gonna think oh man i just hopped on modern warfare man i'm gonna be able to use my controller keyboard and mouse yada 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 right well let me tell you something this is how you fix it all right after after my shitty internet fucking loads Remember, so don't forget root. Step one, download download the uh app. Step two, 
After the app is at, uh, downloaded, put it under your Modern Warfare. Step three, open the app, remap your buttons. Step four, add the game into the app. You know, and don't forget to save all after every step. See, so as you can tell, see, I'm moving with my controller on my, on my PS5. It's not working. So I'd have to go use my keyboard and mouse, multiplayer. All right. And then let me show you guys the options. All right, so option general. You see how it's locked right there? All right, let me show you guys how to fix it. You're going to press your Windows button. If my Windows button would work, all right, you're going to press your Windows button. You're going to go to your files, and then you're going to go to Modern Warfare. Exactly where you just put the uh, thing. This is the fifth and last final step, and I swear to God, you guys will be able to use a controller on your on Modern Warfare. Where it says game, you're going to go down, click Modern Warfare, leave this engine running. Do not close this engine out. You know, have it run in background, do what you got to do. And then guess what you're going to be able to do now? Controller, keyboard, and mouse. Boom, baby. I hope this guys, I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. You know, I know you guys were just struggling as much as I did until I figured it out. And this is the one true video that shows you the last vital step to be able to use a PS5 controller on keyboard and mouse. As you can tell, it does work. I'm moving up and down. I hope I wish I had a light on, but I'm too lazy. But yeah, here you go. You know what I'm saying? I'm pressing the touchpad, the views pop up, all that shit. So yeah, basically guys, that's how you guys do it. Like I said, just if you guys missed any steps, I know this vi isn't the best video, but it is the solution video and I hope you guys found it helpful and you guys have a great day. And yeah, tell your parents you love them and tell the people you love the most that you love them because one day they might not be here anymore.